Hello, I'm Stephen Goss and I'm at the Omenache Guitar Festival in Padua in Italy. And I'm sitting with Festival Artistic Director Giacomo Susani. Giacomo, we're just coming to the end of the second festival. Uh, I think it's fair to say that all of us who've been here have had the most wonderful week with uh, really great concerts and conferences and master classes and so on. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the ethos of the festival and kind of how it came to be in the first place and, and what you'd like to do with it. Yeah, well, first of all, thank you very much, Steve. It has been an amazing week indeed. Um, this is the second edition, so we did our first, as you know, you were there as well last year. Uh, which was a sort of reduced version because of COVID and, and reasons as such, uh, which was great as well. Mm -hmm. And in a way, it was a great way to set things up for this year, which... Uh, well, it, sorry to interrupt you, it didn't feel very reduced last no, year. No, it did. I mean, um, it because good. there were many concerts, you had some great artists here. In so. a way, compared um, to what we did this year, uh, it was a great way to have a really quality program, amazing artists invited and a large audience, to uh, to test for this year in a way and yeah. um, so the festival is really at the core of a series of activities that we want to develop here in Padua uh, to make the city a sort of center or a hub for guitar mm -hmm. activity and to create a community that um, hopefully uh, with time will grow and will involve more and more people um, a sort of center where people meet, exchange ideas, listen to different experiences that come from the broadest international uh, environment and really create a place where people uh, not only play, teach, discuss, but they become friends and create a sort of networking for possible future opportunities and even friendships. Even friendships. Yeah, <laughs> even also friendships. I mean, I think the thing that's been uh, particularly gratifying for me as a visitor this year has been seeing that the concerts have been incredibly well attended, many of them sold out, and the variety of the kinds of concerts that you've had. You know, we had German Baroque Lute, uh, we had David Russell, Paul Galbraith, <coughs> Sean Sheeby, um, all playing very different sorts of programs, very different kinds of repertoire. Uh, you did your own concert with guitar and piano, um, which was uh, spectacular. Oh, thanks. So this kind of this range, I think, is what's really sort of interesting about the about the week. Yes, and we are trying to make it even larger if possible. Uh, as you said, I've tried to invite many different people with different experiences and uh, to try and have. Uh, a great spectrum of what the guitar can do and uh, since you mentioned the concert I played with Donor Armelini who is a fantastic pianist mm -hmm. that also uh, the idea of including other instrumentalists that bring their own experience and uh, to get the chance for the guitar to collaborate with this uh, other uh, instruments and great performers I think it's essential uh, so that uh, people get a really broad overview of what the musical scene is and how the guitar can benefit from interacting with all these different experiences. From my point of view as a composer it's been great that you've had these opportunities where we discuss you know, compositional approaches and repertoire and certainly the morning I spent um, giving a conference with Dusan Bogdanovich where we sort of shared ideas and exchanged um, approaches. I think um, well, it was really interesting for us, but also I think the guitarists in the audience uh, got a real insight into what it's like to put a piece together from the outside, rather than simply you know, playing from the score. So it's this kind of broader approach to creativity, improvisation, composition, as, as well as guitar playing. Yeah, in a way, uh, it's all about witnessing all the components of uh, what leads to a performance, mm -hmm. really, or to interpretation. It's not just the guitarist playing his own instrument, and uh, repertoire, but the interaction with the composers mm -hmm. and maybe being composers and improvisers, arrangers uh, ourselves as mm -hmm. performers and also obviously another important part is the medium, is the actual instruments, the mm -hmm. technology. We had an event uh, led by Lorenzo Frignani who spoke about organology uh, of the guitar, the history of the guitar in Italy and we had a real sense of being in touch with the material mm -hmm. and that actually produces the sound and we commissioned a piece as well this year, uh, a new piece for guitar and piano. 
which was a fantastic piece, I think, uh, by Francesco Antonioni. So all of this also came into practice during the experience of the festival. We, uh, me and Leonora collaborated with uh, the composer, we sat down, uh, we talked through ideas, we experimented with different possibilities, and during the rehearsals and during the concert, there was such a feeling, I think, of shared creativity and uh, shared imagination that it enriched us all. Mm. Now this is great, this is the this sort of broad approach. Yes. Um, I think it's been really fascinating. And you've, you've got various other people who have brought in to talk this week. I mean, it's been absolutely action-packed uh, with um, you know a number of different guests. And also what's been really nice is that people have just popped into the festival for a day or two just to sort of see what's going on, attend a couple of events, catch up with some people. And, uh, yeah, one of the best things, I think, uh, was that the opportunity to chat and to develop ideas was not only on stage but was off the screen in a, in a mm -hmm. sense as well. I mean, after the events and in between them, we had dinners here. There was there were so many chances to just walk around this wonderful city here in the center and with all the artists and people who came. The audience was not just treated as a separate entity, but uh, all people that were interested were actually participating and contributing themselves. So I guess, as you said, it's action-packed, a whole week of constant um, exchange, which uh, was really exciting. And where do you see the festival going now that you've done sort of two, <coughs> two renditions, two versions? Um, I know that you're constantly sort of thinking about how to improve things or how to develop things. Uh, can you let us in on some of your plans? Well, certainly continuing, and um, as you said, we're all brainstorming as to how we want to, uh, as to how we want the festival to evolve, and uh, but the festival itself is not the only event we want to um, to develop or to keep uh, organizing. Um, we already had some activity here that was not during the period of the festival, uh, but we want to do more and to try to see this Festival Homenage as the peak of a series of activities that mm -hmm. are creative and involve the guitar throughout the year. So to, uh, in a way, create a network of events that can take place here in Padua, but possibly even, uh, you know, broaden to other realities in Italy and internationally as well, to try and connect all the dots and all the different experiences. So I see the festival, I, w I really wish for the festival to grow and to expand into many different uh, beings in a way. Well, from an outsider's point of view, it seems you're already doing a very good job. You're, you're taking things on, gradually building them, tweaking and, and uh, developing things in a slightly different way each time. Um, and I think it's going to be really fascinating to watch how this, this whole endeavor develops in the coming years. Well, thank you very much. We're all excited to see how it will develop. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Jacqueline. Thank it's you very much. It's been a pleasure talking to you.